All right, this video is sponsored by City Funds by Nada. Invest in city-specific real estate portfolios for as little as 100 bucks, and you can own this city too. All right, what up? <clears throat> 6.15 in the morning, I'm in Dallas, Texas. Addison, Texas, actually. Doing shows here. Some of you might not know, you know, I'm on the road doing stand-up comedy. And probably the hardest thing. See, I like the cinematic. That's like the shiny right there. Probably the hardest thing about, well, there's two hard things about doing stand-up comedy on the road. Um, but it's worth it. The first hardest thing is doing the press early in the morning. I like doing the press. You have to do the press. I like going to different cities and, you know, talking to the people. And you got to promote the shows, you know. Um, social media is a fantastic promotion. But you got to get out there and talk to the people. Do the talk shows. I usually do the sports shows. Do the morning news shows, whatever. Classic rock, hip hop stations, whatever. I go talk to them. Fortunately, these shows are all sold out. Where am I going here? One of the underrated hard things about being on the road is being in hotels where you don't know where. Where is that? What? If, already where's, where's the hope I don't know anyway um so I'm up early doing this press uh, the second hardest thing is the amount of shows so I did I'm doing five shows usually I do five shows I come in on a Thursday I do a show Thursday night I do a show Thursday night I do two shows Friday two shows Saturday five shows total that Friday night second show traditionally is the hardest show because like Steve Martin talked about, Friday night second show, people have worked all week. The shows usually don't start exactly on time. It's about 10 o'clock on a Friday night. Crowds can sometimes be a little uh, rowdy or tired or drunk or a combination of all three. Um, and then once you get to Saturday, it's all Gucci. Anyway, hang out with me for a little bit as I uh, go do the local news, the news shows, which are always bugged out, doing these small local, well Dallas ain't small, but doing these local news programs is always funny. I don't know, this hotel, is, it's, I think this hotel was like two hotels or three hotels, and they put it together, because I don't know where I'm going. All right, I'm, I'm in the hotel, I don't know how, how do I get to the lobby? Lobby? You don't know where the lobby is? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I've been walking around. I... Where's the lobby? Nobody knows where the lobby, people that work it don't know where the, how do you work in a hotel but not know where the lobby is? I'm lost in the hotel. I don't. Oh, here we go. All right. So me and my guy Jay here who runs the club. So what are we doing? A radio? Yep. I was radio. Man. And then are we doing like Good Morning Dallas or something? Yeah, uh, it's called Good Morning Texas. Good Morning Texas. And it's really morning. What is this, the IR radio uh, building? Yep, sure is. iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio that houses the home of the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast, coincidentally. When does it get hot, hot in Texas, Jay? Uh, typically, uh, June to August, it's unbearable. Is that right? Unbearable. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, I'm 
I'm doing my little uh, vlog. Awesome. Hey, there's hey, Anna, Anna Gahano. Hi, Anna. So nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. How's it going? It's so great. It's good to see you guys. Uh, show them where to go, Jay. So what station is this? This is Lone Star 92.5. Lone Star 92.5 yeah. Classic Rock. Yeah. All right. All the Led Zeppelin and, then, and Leonard Skinner. Let's do it. I want all that Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin, Leonard Skinner. Oh, and you picked a good day because we got food coming. I know you guys can. What, what food do you have? Today it's a. Uh, doghouse. Dog what is, what is doghouse? Hot, dog, hot dog place that brings sausages. We're doing hot dogs at six in the morning? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> also, yes. Right, we're, we're in Texas. Because of the Masters. Oh, they show shit. these pimento cheese sandwiches. We got a shitload of pimento cheese. Pimento cheese? What's a pimento cheese sandwich? It's, it's, cheese with like a. Pimentos. pimentos oh, pimento. Yeah. yeah. And it's a. Uh, it's got jalapenos. <laughs> I'm gonna get you one right now. You, you know what? You, yeah, I, I feel like this might be something I might have to try because yeah. I was trying my Los Angeles, you know, New York uh, intermittent fasting well, bullshit. You You're giving yeah. me pimento sandwiches at six in the morning. So these are famous at the Masters. All right, famous. They actually, come in. Where is the back. Masters? Augusta, Georgia. Okay, so oh, oh, because it's or, or because it's yes, the Masters yes, week. Masters is Tiger week. Woods doing anything in the Masters? He actually had a really bad day yesterday. He's done, huh? Uh, I think he's ready for his retirement. Fuck. You know how that goes with sports uh, stars. Yeah. But yeah, so the big thing about the pimento cheese sandwiches is that they're only $1.50. They sell for $1.50. All right, like wait, so, so, so tell me the big thing about the pimento cheese is sandwiches. That they sell them at the Masters for only $1.50. How much do they sell them for out here? Yeah, right now we're gonna give it to you free. I'll give it to, all right, cool. <laughs> all right, my pimento sandwich. I'm gonna be honest, the feel of it, it doesn't feel like something I should be eating. <laughs> it's just a, like it's kind of, it's cold, it's got a green bag. Well, you don't have to eat the whole thing. You just just but at first I wasn't gonna eat anything and then you guys, you convinced me. Oh. Yeah, cause we got hot dogs We got coming. hot dogs. Hot coming. dogs and pimento, I gotta. What more could you ask for? Shit, I think I gotta go back. This thing feels like, I mean, it, it, it's. It's right out of the refrigerator. It is. Yes, with the green bag. Mm hmm for the green jacket. I gotta reconsider this <clears> thing. <throat> Everybody's videotaping everybody. I'm a vlogger, by the way. Dallas Fort Worth Classic Rock, Lone Star 92.5. It's a good Friday, and it's a guest star Friday, too. Yay! Here he is from the Iron Zone of Destruction, <laughs> the gringo mendingo himself, <laughs> Michael Rappaport. Yes, Michael. yes, 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 yes. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Well, Thanks for having me. Well, you say that now. I'll wait till the end. <laughs> <laughs> so how you been? I just, you just had a birthday, didn't you? I just Wasn't had a birthday, 53 years old, March 20th. I'm a Pisces mm -hmm. with an Aries something and a something something moon. But yeah, you're on the cusp. <laughs> cusp of something, you're on yes. The cusp of something. Yes. Here. I'm always on the cusp. We are so honored because your show at the Addison Improv, your shows, because My you shows. have multiple yep. performances. Sold out. My shows are and sold you're out. Still here of course, early. of course, of course. I'm not gonna cancel. Uh, you know, I I I don't it's not my thing cancel. I try never to be late, and I try to abide every single... Good for you. I wish yeah. every guest did that. Yeah. Yeah. Good human being, Michael. Uh, no, I mean, you know, you you, you got to uh, be grateful because, you know, they're, they're, the next time I might, you know, might be like, yo, I got three shows and nobody's buying tickets. So, uh, you know, I, I... This is from Doghouse. Doghouse. No disrespect to Doghouse, but it is just too early for me to <laughs> <laughs> That, the sun isn't even up they yet. They do have a badass burrito. Even though, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, sausage on a sausage stick. On a sausage thing. on a stick. Yeah. I gotta pass on that for right now. Oh. All right. Now I'm doing Good Morning Texas. Local morning news program. Good Morning Texas. This is no uh, ragtag uh, production here. We got yeah. this. Marielle, you're the, the, the meteorologist? I am. And it's your birthday. And it's my birthday. How, how's the weather looking for my weekend here in uh, Dallas? You know, it's a little bit cloudy today, but it's going to warm up. It's going to be a little more sunny Saturday, Sunday. So overall, not too bad. <laughs> that was that was a, a professional <laughs> weather person right She's there. She's a very professional. <laughs> Do people, when people see you on the street, are they always asking about the weather? You know, I don't think... People realize I'm a meteorologist sometimes, so when they want to do like you know small talk, 
ask me about the weather. I don't know if they actually want to talk about, you know, our atmosphere. Got you, got or if they're you, just got wanting you, got to, you, you know. Got you, got you. Actor Michael Rappaport from his roles in more than 60 films and starring on the sitcom The War at Home. Tonight and tomorrow, you can see him take the stand and take the stage at Addison Improv. But before he does, guess what? He's sitting down with us. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad to be here. Happy uh, to be in Texas and I uh, appreciate you having me on the show. I'm thrilled to have you on the show. Addison Improv. Broad is just a wonderful place. I hope the venue suited you well. How did the show go last night? Show was awesome. Great crowd. Sold out. All shows uh, have sold out all weekend. So I'm, I'm excited and um, really humbled by that, to be honest with you. Well, you certainly earned it. I mean, you've been in over 60 different films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're known as kind of the king of trash talk. You have a huge following. And I'm curious about through all of those different genres, do you have a particular favorite? Um, you know, I'm, I'm always gonna love acting in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. um, I love doing the live shows. There's nothing like being in front of a live audience or being on live TV because anything can happen. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Um, and you know, I, I just, I, I, I love it all. I love the, the, the experience, I love the adrenaline, I love the challenge, I love the, um, sort of push push for perfection yeah. which which is never uh, attainable when you're doing live shows right. um and uh you know I, I love doing my podcast and then you know and i'm just appreciative to be doing it for for some all right Oof. i'm done with the press done doing the uh shows going into this mall the galleria to go get me some more coffee. Um, and I just wanted to say, um, I found out this morning that the Dallas Mavericks have been officially eliminated from the playoffs. Coincidentally, I'm in Dallas or Addison. What a sad, sad day for Dallas Mavericks fans. And I blame Kyrie Irving. I blame Kyrie Irving. 500%. You got Kyrie Irving and things went left. The curse of Kyrie Irving. Somehow, some way, Kyrie Irving has taken one of the most joyful players in the league, Luka Doncic. He plays with a smile, so much joy, so much love. That's why we love Luca. Aside from the fact that he's a big lumbering white guy, we love the fact that Luca plays with so much joy, boyish charm. And then Kyrie came to town. Kyrie came to town. And Luca seems like he needs to be on antidepressants. How you doing? How's it going? Hi, how you doing? How you guys doing? Good to see you. Nice to see you. How are you? How you doing? Good, good, good. How's everything? I'm vlogging. Hey! You here all day, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get some coffee. Oh my gosh. Good to see you. Oh yeah, let's take a picture. Okay. How you guys doing? Good? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Who's your bodyguard in? Oh, I don't know. You guys are my bodyguard. Don't we call him a thug? I'm a thug. I'm a thug. Let's take a photo. <laughs> anyway, Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, the Dallas Mavericks, somehow, somewhere, didn't make the playoffs? Didn't make the play-in? Playtime's over? You're not in the NBA playoffs with two of the greatest scorers, the two of the greatest, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Why is there an ice skating rink in the middle of a mall in Dallas? What the? People ice skate? In Dallas? People ice skate anywhere?
There's an ice skating rink in the middle of the mall in Dallas. I have no idea why. Is that Starbucks? Wait, is that upstairs? Just a How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you guys. How's it going? Good, good, good. All right. I need that. I, I need that Starbucks. It's my second Starbucks of the day. But I've been up early talking, yapping, talk, 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 talking. And there's a nice. I don't know. I got. I mean, is that normal? An ice skating rink in the middle of a mall? That doesn't seem normal. That threw me off. But see, look at the production value. See, I'm just gonna tell you, when it comes to the vlogging of Michael Rappaport, I go for the big shots. The big, swooping Hollywood shots. That's called production value right there. Excuse me, where's the Starbucks? Starbucks, thank you, thank you, thank you. I need that box. Oh yeah. I need that, oh yeah, I need that box right now. Right now, I need that box. All right. Anyway, Dallas Mavericks eliminated from the playoffs. Shocking, right? Dallas, not really. Not really, right? Kyrie is a problem everywhere he goes. Kyrie is a problem everywhere he goes. Yeah, I like that. He's, he's a spectacular, the dribbling behind the legs, behind the back. Something is not right. And now Luca's not happy. Nobody's going to figure it out because he's a good player. Because because the highlights are incredible. So, the people uh, of Dallas. The people so of Dallas. Doing? What are you doing? Are you I'm doing? just well. I'm shocked that there's an ice skating rink in the middle of the mall. Oh no, that's been necessary. People go ice skating 24/7 here. Who knew? I got my coffee. I got my. Coffee. All right. So now they're skating in the skating rink, which I don't know why. I think that's bizarre. I mean, like in New York City, they got Rockefeller Center, but it's Rockefeller Center. No disrespect, but this is just a, a mall in Texas. I wonder if they ever produce any Olympic skaters. You never know. Let's see what happens. Like, oh, I started skating at the gallery in Texas. Next thing you know, she's an Olympic, or he, or he's an Olympic skater. Anyway, I'm going to go uh, back to the hotel and drink my coffee. Anyway, that's the morning in the life of a tremendously big, huge actor slash podcaster slash stand-up comedian slash just megastar like myself. That's what, that's what I do, okay? That's what... I do. And I also walk around inside with sunglasses on when I'm alone. That's the cherry on top, okay? Anyway, hope everybody uh, is feeling good. I appreciate you watching. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay disruptive.